here we go back again fixing up some cities with me biffer thank you for joining me so this city absolutely horrendous traffic check roundabouts check interesting looking city double check this is based on a clover leaf design but very unlucky loads and loads of traffic so we're gonna dive in and fix that if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit subscribe as well don't miss out on my city fixes and my city builds as well i've been building my own city called tville there's a playlist for that if you wish to watch that but let us dive in and check out this city sent in by phantom 92 Thank you very much for that. So here we go. Cloverleaf City. Yeah, absolutely tons of traffic in here. We can see it's all sort of getting around here, around this sort of central section. We've got these main roads that come out. Let's just move around a bit. This is like a railway line around the outside. That's all working nicely. And we have the monorails that come down here, down each of the main roads going in. So this one down here, this one down here, this one down here. And you can see that works out quite well. And what we're finding, if we come all the way down here, we can see where the traffic is. And it's stopping at the ends here. I want you to take a look at this section here. And this one here is just as bad as well. The traffic's coming down, slowing down at the end. And I could probably tell you why this car's like turning around. Is this traffic's coming in here, slowing down because of all these people crossing over to use your monorail metro thing. So what I'm going to try and see if I've got to add over the top of here is a pedestrian bridge. And if we can add that over the top, that would be fantastic to stop people crossing over here. And I'm just wondering where to put that in. Don't really want to get it in the way of the monorail. That would be a bit silly. Yeah, look, that would like, whoa, <laughs> drive straight over it. But this side here, that could work quite well. So there we go. Look, they can walk straight up there, go over the top, round to the other side. Um, yeah, I'm using the lab's version. And then we're going to use this one here, junction restrictions. And we're going to say here, uh, no crossing and no crossing. And we're also going to say go straight through so the cars don't pause. And then this one here, no crossing, no crossing, but go straight through. And then hopefully what we will see is people are going to stop crossing over the road and slowing the cars down. But we use this instead. So there's loads of people coming out. And now we can see the traffic is literally coming straight through and it's stopping up here. So that's fine. That's good. So that's solving one problem. So what I'm thinking then of doing is going round to each of these areas where there is a monorail station. One, two, one, two, three four five and setting up that same thing yeah i'm just finding on a couple of the sides this bit here to the right of the monorail station isn't big enough to uh, pop it in so if we just move that over here without it sort of all overlapping so i might just have to rebuild um or move a couple of these areas we could sort of do it with the move it mods if i did that and just sort of move things back a bit. Yeah, that should be okay. Hopefully that won't mess up the stops and things. And then I should have enough room just to drop that in there. In fact, I could even move that along a little bit. And then I could move that along a little bit more. Give a bit of space. Yeah, there we go. That's better. And we can get it all working nicely. Okay, so just doing that has increased our traffic up to 26, 27%. It's not uh, amazing, but it's stopping the traffic from stopping at that area there um the traffic doesn't actually get all the way down into this area it's mainly let's just have a quick look let's pick this one here mm, i think we need to make this road going through here a main road and then deal with this roundabout and do that all the way around as well so let's pick this tool here that add priority signs we're going to hold shift zoom out a little bit here just make sure so it's going to take in this whole road here and what it will do is, if we left click once on there and then zoom in, it's going to give any road that's coming on, give way. And these ones, I just get priority to go straight through, straight through, straight through. We'll deal with this sort of roundabout-ish in a moment. But we can do that with all of these main roads going out. So I would say that one there. Yeah, that one there. This one here. Yeah, that one there. That one there. I can't remember which one I started on. <laughs> I've lost count. Go. Let's just do that one. 
yeah, we've done these now. That's fine. So they're all now set up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. So they will get priority going through if they're on the main road. And we've got this like little roundabout here and another roundabout there. I'm not going to change the roads at the moment. Or am I? Because we've got all this traffic coming down here and hitting this little tiny one way each way road do you know what let's just treat them both like a roundabout so i'm gonna do this first and do that so that will now change to give way if you're coming onto the roundabout and if you're already on the roundabout you get priority going around and i'm gonna do the same for this one and see how that goes i'm not sure whether because what's going to happen is, is they're going to come all the way down here and then stop there. And then anything coming down here is going to then stop there. Yeah, double roundabout like this. Bit odd. Not sure how that's going to work. We may need to make the outside lanes bigger. But how about we come back to that? And you've got the increasing, increasingly bad thing of bus stops on the inner roundabout. But it may be that we can change it so not many people use the inner roundabout. In fact, we're going to do that. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade the roads on this one and make this larger sort of secondary exterior roundabout more appealing. I'd like three lane one way. Yes, look, and it's the same size, which is absolutely fantastic. You're going to lose your trees, but definitely going to be worth it. So let's just do that all the way around. There we go. So now it's more like a proper roundabout. This one here, you've got an inordinate amount of lanes on, but I'm going to leave that because you've got the size that you need for these buildings to butt up against it and all of that. We're not going to touch that. Just going to redo the giveaway signs and things. Always zoom out so you can see the full circle. Or on the straight rows, the full line, just to make sure. Because sometimes what will happen is you'll hold shift, hold it over that, it'll go blue. It won't just do the uh, the road you're on. It'll go like down here, down there, up there, and do all sorts of weird stuff. But you want to stay in control of that. Good. So that's now the outside one. And then what I'm thinking of doing is, is I'm going to do some lane management. Yeah, we're going to use this tool here, change lane arrows. And we're going to say one lane for right, one lane for left, and then one lane for straight on, like that. So just so they utilize all the different arrows. And then like here, we're going to have one lane for off, and then the other two for straight on. So no lane has more than one task. Left straight on right so that's good so that's that outside section done so what we then want to do is take this tool here junction restrictions and on every node we can say cars coming round well hang on i need a quick sip of tea i need to get my brain in gear mm. so because we've got this extra little road in here this is why my brains go because normally what we'd have is cars going round the roundabout like this words get priority they could enter the junction and keep going cars coming onto the roundabout which are coming down this way from the right and also this way from the left we will leave that off so it doesn't interfere but i also want to put on this one here if you're on the roundabout and you come to this junction you can pick your lane and i probably want to put it on all three of them as well just because just because so there we go that's that done there and then we need to do the same in the middle i think so we want these guys going through let's just do that if you're on the roundabout there we go it could be worse one of these roundabouts could be using two-way roads i mean who would do that who would do that i don't know and then when you come in on i'm going to do the pick your lane as well and then what we're going to have to do is just leave that for a while and just see how that works out because our traffic is 26 percent but by doing all of these things we're sort of rerouting the traffic oh there's like a third roundabout as well <gasps> we're sort of rerouting the traffic through different roads and it can cause all sorts of issues um now do we treat this exterior roundabout as a roundabout because that's going to affect anybody coming down here yes if i hold shift will it go round? yeah we're going to do that so i've done this tool here with the traffic lights and things on the priority signs held shift left clicked so now coming down here do you remember we set it so they got priority and these had yield signs or give way signs any roads coming on the side the same there the same there but then as we come down to this junction it's going to change because this is now being counted as a roundabout as it goes through this road so it's going to put give way for all the roads coming on and priority for these guys and i don't know how that's going to work i mean this should be a little roundabout i've got to be honest this junction this junction this junction i may change those to tiny little roundabouts like a roundabout with a roundabout look there's another roundabout here look mm. one two three 
four, five, six. <laughs> we can't count all of those as roundabouts. Now, normally here, with this road coming up here, I would say that one. So you go in, look like this, keep going, and everybody else has to wait. But then that might start making this traffic up here back up. So do you know what? Let's do the rules of the roundabout. Let's do it. Let's trust the roundabout rules and see what happens. And if it causes major issues, because these aren't your general common or garden roundabouts, are they? Then we'll just add some more tea to my brain and see if we can change the change how it all works. There we go. So 24%. Let's leave this. Whoa, look at all those people. Flipping heck. They're all heading up here. Is there like, oh yeah, look. The posh mall, lots of visitors for that. Then they're all walking up here. People like walking in this city. That is good. Then you've got this up here. Okay, good. So let's just keep an eye on this junction here. I think this is the busiest one. See how it goes and see whether our traffic is affected. Yeah, so we may change the way this works for normal roundabout rules. Oh, no. Are we going to tip the rules on their head and not do all the things that I normally do? Let's find out. Okay, just looking at this junction here, the other thing you could do is the lane management that we're talking about. So, for instance, looking at this lane up the end here, let's just move a little bit closer. We've got every lane doing almost everything. Look, so ideally you want one for straight on, one for right, one for left. I'm assuming that this one here, this straight on, also goes up over here, but not many people are using it. I'm just watching the way the cars are going, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, actually. But I think the main thing we need to deal with is the traffic that ends up coming up into these areas up here. Because as you can see, uh, the cars all come up here and then they get stuck up at a section like this. So let's just take a look at this, what you've got going on. Let's just delete that piece of road there. I want uh, an extra wide road. Uh, you haven't got any trees or anything, so this one here would be good. And then we can just join that up to there. Yep, that's fine. There we go, extra lanes. And then if we grab your monorail, we can do that with the Anarchy mods. And we can just draw that over the top and that will join up, which is fine. And if you look under here, it still goes over the middle of the road. So not really a huge issue if you sort of squint a bit. Uh, and then if we use this one here, junction restriction, uh, lane arrows. So we have one for right, one for straight on and one for left. There we go. And now if we watch this, we're not going to get everybody hogging the middle lane. So let's just come out so we can see. There we go. Some of them are going to be driving through a pole. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Can we fix that? Oh, look at all those people. Look at all those people. What the heck are they doing? What? There's so many people coming out of here. They're now floating in the air. That is absolutely nuts. Look at it. Don't run on the tracks. They're probably electrified. You boneheads! You boneheads. Where are they going? That's what I want to know. Let's follow them. They're all, are they getting in? They're getting in this train. Oh, well, there you go. They're just running down the running down there to get in the monorail train. Oh, brilliant. I love it. I love it. Aha! Problem solved. Six lane road with a median. So we are going to upgrade all of these roads down here to six lane with a median there we go and then we're going to grab our monorail line and we're going to just draw that over the top and hook that up look at that so that's now in that bit of the road yep that's fine that's all connected up and that's given us all they're doing it again and that's given us all these extra roads yep which is really good and what we're going to say then, if we use our do, 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 do this one here, we're going to say, yeah, we've done it. One right, one straight on, one left. And hopefully then, yeah, things will go a bit quicker. I, I'm, I'm not going to stop the lane switch. I'm just going to say, do what you like. Well, at least these people are floating in the air. I mean, that sort of, that is assisting things. Hey, they're jumping on the monorail while it's moving. That is assisting things. So I think that is definitely going to help with all of the traffic coming up this road. Look, it's going down already. Let's just have a quick look around this area. And then I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do the same here. And I'm going to do the same here as well. Do you know what, actually? I think this one here 
the asymmetric three and two would work better because as they come down here, it goes into two lanes under here and then back to three lanes. Here. It's a bit annoying, this little bit here, but I think that would just keep things moving smoothly down this way. It already has a median in the middle, but I don't think the median's lined up with the, the median's not lined up with the uh, monorail track. So it's up to you, I suppose, which way you want to do it. Let's, uh, I'm going to stick with the, uh, I'm going to stick with the six lane just because I think it just looks a teeny tiny bit better. And then also I'm moving any little buildings you've got right on this junction. We've just seen how busy this junction is. You don't want all your schools smack bang on the middle of that junction there. You know, any cemeteries, anything like that. I mean, this is like the worst place for Mall of Moderation and schools and all stuff like that. So I'm just going to move them all out of the way. Give your junctions room to breathe. And there we go. Look back over to this junction here that we started with and apart from when the people cross over here which we could stop them doing i mean they could come down there to cross instead um look at that the traffic is all whizzing through that is cleared up that nicely the other issue is is a lot of people are using these little side roads to sort of cut through and come here and they can't get out they've always got to join across the way the traffic goes unless it had a roundabout in here somewhere then they could come on and go and i am just wondering whether that the second junction back we add a roundabout and make that the way everybody comes out let's give it a go and see what happens why not this is all about trying stuff having fun uh, that is probably quite big two lane roundabout will probably be okay so let's go like that uh, we can put anarchy on and redraw our metro over the top that's no problem metro it's not a metro is it <laughs> monorail we can then set this roundabout up like that doing the same thing and then we'll take these tools as well and say if you're going round you do that if you're going round you do that if you're going round you do that if we're going round, you do that. Uh, these buildings need to go. Thank you very much. Normally don't like buildings spawning on the edge of a roundabout, but this is a different sort of roundabout. This is a biff roundabout right in the middle of a built-up area <laughs> to see if it can fix things. Oh, I'll tell you what we don't want is we do not want parking on the roundabout. I mean, good grief. So let's turn that off. There we go. So let's just keep an eye on this little area here for a few minutes and see whether that help sort of keep some of this traffic up here Look, watch this road here we want this to go down so i'll tell you what i'm going to add one of those in not the first junction the second junction back on each of these sections and actually looking at this the second junction back is like really close here you've got like a bigger gap here you've got it's really close but actually there's not much traffic in there so i'm not going to bother on that one and let's have a look at this one whoa mama why is there so much traffic coming down here I was expecting like an airport or something at the end, but it's like horrendous. Yeah, this has got like, because there's so much and it's three lanes down to two, back to three. Oh, it's so annoying. They don't do a, I bet if I went on the mod workshop, there is a, a fix for this. Yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the asymmetrical road. You know, one rule doesn't always fit all. Sometimes you just need to use your brain, change things up. Uh, so three lanes going up, two lanes going down, two lanes, then it goes back to three lanes. That's fine. In fact, this needs to be asymmetrical as well, doesn't it? That way round. So two lanes, two lanes, two, three lanes. No, hang on. It's the other way, isn't it? There we go. Two lanes, two lanes, two lanes, three lanes. Yes, that should work a lot better and then what i'm going to do is here i'm going to say when you come through this junction you have to stick to your lane don't like change lanes in the middle there and the same here just keep going through just keep going through and then up here they can there's like nodes 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 they can change lanes where they want to things are slowly improving 54 percent well 53 percent uh, what I'm also going to do is all of these lanes down here, maybe not this one here, because it's hard to sort of say what you ideally need here is one, two, three, four, five lanes coming out so they can have a lane for each. But we haven't got that. But all these other junctions going down here, I am most definitely going to use the lane arrow and say one for left, one for right, one for straight on. So no lanes in either direction is doing more than one thing. Uh, that is all we want. So here, one for right. I mean, we haven't got a left here because this is one way coming in. But you get the idea. So I don't want anybody thinking, oh, I need to use this lane and someone else also using that lane to do something different. And I'm going to do that up and down each of the roads. And I need to remember which one I started with because otherwise I'm going to end up doing things twice. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go through that. 
and that is most definitely going to help spread out the traffic as well so give me five minutes well you know Half a second for you, five minutes work for me, and I will be back with you. Well, we are almost getting there. We are almost getting there. I've decided to change these areas here to not count this outside road as the roundabout. So instead of it being like that, giving these guys right of way, you are going to pause. You have right of way. You have right of way. Keep going through. And then also keep going through, keep going through like that. Because these are the main roads through the whole of the city. And we just need to keep these people going. And you're just all sat there looking at each other. Because you're all turning. Yeah, look. Both of these lanes are both being used for up there. I may just need to come through and do one final little change in a second. Okay, this is the change that I'm thinking. I want one road to go there and to go up there. I want one road here to always be straight on. So anybody that just needs to go straight on can go without stopping for anything else. And then that guy over there. I think that's going to work much better. It's going to mean the middle lane is going to get you. What is this bus doing? Look, everyone's got confused now. I've changed that. Stop being confused. Thank you very much. It just means people are just going to keep going all of the time and stop the traffic building up. So I'm going to do that on all the other junctions that are like this as well. And you know what? The final thing that I've put in to fix the traffic at these, these problem intersections, and they are a problem. I've been trying not to change them into a roundabout and do something different. I've actually added in traffic lights because that will let through huge amounts of traffic in one go as you can see there's no traffic building up on this one there's no traffic building up on this one it's going down and those few fixes together i think are pretty much solved the traffic issues we've got there's a couple of busy spots as we can see these are always going to be really busy spots because there's like what did we say six rows going into each one but apart from that that is pretty much going okay they do have metro as well going around the middle here um, i didn't run it up there because you've got the monorail going up there so yeah we've left it like you had it so let's take our final look at the traffic if it's anything over 80 percent i will be pleased 81 percent i cannot complain at that that is fantastic thank you very much for watching if you want to submit your city to be fixed don't forget you can use the form in the description below subscribe before you leave and leave a like that is fantastic and then check out the next video thanks for watching take care everybody bye bye